Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gilbo the Shaman, and today we're talking about what happens when we have the Mars placed in uh, Leo in the 5th house for Aries Ascendant. So if you have Aries Ascendant, Leo is naturally sitting in your 5th house, and Leo, if you don't know, is the 5th sign of the Zodiac pertaining to the 5th house. So those energies go together pretty well. Now, I have to mention before we start, if you want to get an astrology reading from me, then you can go to Um, I sit there and I explain to you, like, what everything is in your chart, and, like, it's a really good experience where I can ask, I can answer your questions and, uh, and, uh, just help you any, in, in any way that I can to, you know, solve your problems or, um, just help you out with anything. So, pertain to your astrology chart. As well as I'm a spiritual counselor, so I typically use those, those skills in my astrology readings as well. Just for added benefit. For maybe something, maybe I can't explain something within your chart, so I'll use, um, I'll use, uh, my life coaching and uh, spiritual counseling skills to solve your problems. So, all right, so let's get into it. So we have Mars in Leo in the first, in the fifth house for Aries Ascendant. So first off, um, we have to like look at each one of these individually to analyze that and to actually teach you guys what these mean. So what is Mars? Mars is the the warrior, the planet that has like pertains to war, violence, uh, masculine energy, um, taking action, going out there and and doing things, getting the mission accomplished, things like that, and and um, things like that. It's um, about you know just following a. a a task, a goal, and go in, getting that accomplished, and, you know, winning, and, uh, you know, you can see even Mars relates to competition, relates to sports, like physical activity, as well as, um, you know, just, uh, competition, sports, um, and, uh, achieving Achieving goals like your passions and things like that too. So and then we have Leo here and the fifth house and those are pretty similar energies since Leo is the fifth sign of the zodiac pertaining to the fifth house. So Leo with the fifth house This is naturally a, a good sign here to have because there's no conflicting energy um, So Leo and the fifth house are all about uh, Fifth house is all about children. Fifth house is about play, fun, joy, romance, sex life, romantic partners, um, things like that. Um, uh, Leo and fifth house pertain to creativity, being a leader, being a ruler. Um, Leo is your, uh, your your childhood education, like uh, grade school, the ninth house pertains to more like um. Uh, like postgraduate education, like higher learning, college education, and things like that. Um. And so, with the fifth house, it's it's more like uh, grade school learning, like elementary school learning. And, um, uh, fifth house has to do with your, it has, well, it, have, it pertains to leadership, authority, royalty, government, and, uh, and all those kinds of things. So, when we have Mars here, Mars is naturally, this is a, a good house for him. This is a pretty good house for him, because... Mars is, oh, it's, it's, it's like if, if you want to become a leader or a, you know, 
politician involved with government or things like that, then this is a good place for Mars because Mars, Mars wants to, you know, be a good soldier, be a good, uh, like captain or, or commander in the army. And so what is the fu fundamental guiding principle behind Mars? Well, the, the, behind a soldier is to protect the, uh, the people in his country, right? So we go to war to protect. Ideally, that's what we go to war to do, to protect <laughs> the, the country involved and not, you know, go and start wars, start fights. That's, that's not a good thing, you know? Um, <laughs> provoke fights <laughs> like we're doing in in Ukraine and stuff. But um, anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it's a it's really a place of you know where we have we have leadership, we have authority, but we also have creative expression. We also have fun here. So. Leo or fifth house pertains to also pertains to the arts, you know, acting, singing, dancing, music, musicians, um, you know, painters, uh, novelists, things like that, like writing novels or, um, well, novels is kind of like a fifth house or ninth house kind of thing, but more ninth house. But you can see book writing from this, publishing, um, things like that, you know. And so when we have Leo in the fifth house, or when we have uh, Mars with Leo in the fifth house, um, yeah, it, it tends to want to... Remember, uh, Mars, um, Mars, the thing to know about Mars is that this is the planet that has, it's like, you know what a, what a sea, sea urchin is? It's like a big round spiky thing with a bunch of spikes that are, you know, they hurt if you step on them and things like that, like especially bare feet. Yeah, that, that's what Mars is. It's basically this big spiky planet. Uh, this big, big spiky energy. So even if it wants to be your best friend, even if it wants to give you a hug, you're going to be saying, nope, uh, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to hug. <laughs> I don't want to touch you. Because, you know, it's going to stab you. It's going to spike you. So, <laughs> um, so this is the, the thing with Mars. It's a natural malefic. It's a natural enemy. And so... Even when Mars is doing good stuff in your chart, just know that, like, it has propensity to, to like, turn and be bad. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like one of those things where we have, you know, Mars, Mars can do great things in your chart. It can give you energy, it can give you vitality, masculine energy. Um, libido, it can give you, um, like, things like that, but it can also ha have the ability to be violent, especially when placed in the 8th house. Now, I know we're not talking about 8th house today, but especially when Mars is in the 8th house, it, yeah, you can see, like, house fires or, uh, sudden, sudden injuries, sudden accidents, and things like that. Um, so Mars is heat, Mars is burning. And so with the fifth house, we have Mars in here. And what that's doing is it's giving you a energy or creativity to, to go out and, um, to achieve, you know, to go out and, you know, it's like, okay, well, if I'm going to be the best, if I'm going to be a, um, a singer, if I'm going to be a musician, 
I'm going to be the best damn musician in the world. <laughs> That's kind of what uh, Mars is. It's like, okay, I want to go out and conquer. I want to go out and be the best. I want to excel, exceed at um, at my profession, at, at what I'm doing, at, even if it's for fun. Like, um, you might have fun being in competition with uh, other people. Competition might be might might uh, accelerate your your drive, your desire to go out and accomplish and, and do things and you know really really achieve something. So um, yeah. So with the. Um, With the fifth house moon, or sorry, with the fifth house Mars and Leo in the fifth house, um, you can see someone who, like, they, they get into politics. They want to become the, the president or whatever. <laughs> and then they'll be like, you know, they'll be in competition with everyone else around them. Like, thinking that everyone else is competing for their position when they're, they're sometimes just really not. Um, so, you know, you can see, like, some backs backstabbing and fighting and things like that when it comes to this position, like, within pol politics and political uh, theaters and things like that, so... Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> um, what else about Mars? It's Mars with Leo. Also, you know, a good thing to look at here is where is your son placed? Because if your son is in, in Leo, then that gives you a better opportunity to become like a politician or things like that. If it's in um, any fire sign, like uh, Sagittarius or Aries or Leo, then, you know, that that's going to be, um, you know, that that's going to be better for it. It's, it's in its own sign, kind of thing. Or in its own uh, element, is what I would say. So... With this position, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's, um, you know, there, there's a lot of, um, a lot of heat, a lot of energy. So as I said before, like you could be, you know, um, uh, an artist, a musician or something like that. But, um, the way that you would, uh, do that is is probably through um, these creative at cre creative avenues of expressing your feelings of like anger and things like that. Um, and so even with uh, romantic relationships, like you know, you would be pretty dominant in that. Like for for a man's chart, you would be very um, dominant and, like, outspoken when it comes to, like, dating and things like that. Uh, out outspokenness is, is just definitely a quality of Mars in the fifth house. Um, and so, you know, if it, if it's a man with this charts, um, you know, he would demonstrate some uh, ability to just kind of take charge, take lead in romantic relationships and things like that. If it's a woman, she would want to be like in charge of the, the, uh, scenario there, the relationship there. Um, you know, and then with the, with like fun and stuff, like, as I said before, like competition is your fun. Uh, competition, sports, 
you know, beating up the other team, <laughs> like winning, excelling, like um, achievement, like you, you would have fun going after an achievement rather than just uh, playing, you know, whatever, <laughs> just like, rather than like going to the beach or just relaxing, going to a movie, like your fun would be going after an achievement, going after something to achieve it to conquer, to compete, to, um, go and just, um, achieve something, you know, that would be your sense of fun. And so, well, other people are like wanting to relax as their fun, as their so so source of fun, you would rather wanting, be wanting to like compete or, uh, be physical, be aggressive, be, um, you know, in a, in a state of competition or achievement with, within like a, a team or, uh, or even by yourself. Like you can see a, an entrepreneur with this placement, especially if it has some kind of aspect to Mercury, you know, entrepreneurs are always wanting to, to improve their products, like to, you know, achieve, to compete with other entrepreneurs and things like that, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, like, it's a great, uh, sign, because it, it gives you so much energy to just go out there and, and do what you want to do, um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's really great, in a lot of ways, it is, so, yeah, that, I mean, that, that's pretty much all I got for this one, was that, so, Anyway, guys, if you want to get an astrology reading from me, then you can go to my website, gabeldeshaman.com. Also, I have these courses, as well as the stuff up here. Uh, my Qigong co courses and yoga courses and all that good stuff as well. Um, so, go check out my courses and books and uh, my uh, astrology courses and readings and all that good stuff, so. Other than that, we will talk to you next time. Peace. Take care. Bye-bye.